So guys, we owe you a 2000 subscriber special and we prepared something special for you. I'm in the gym and it's back for you guys and today I have another Escape from Tarkov video which may be a little bit special compared to my other videos. So I thought for a subscriber special we should make some special videos for you guys. So and as you can see in the title of this video it's a little bit different. It says Firearms Instructor meets Escape from Tarkov and this subscriber special is very special for me because it's a little bit personal. So I want to introduce myself to you guys and create some new series on this channel. So my name is Ivan, as I told you in every video, I've been in the German military as a sergeant, I was in the infantry and I was a firearms instructor for my comrades. That means you have to be familiar with almost every handgun in the German army. Sometimes you have to shoot with some foreign weapons. You have to be familiar with the most anti-tank weapons. And I was in the mechanized infantry during the end of my, let's say, military career. Right now I own a company with three other comrades. It's called Kuma Solutions. Kuma Solutions is a gun dealer in Germany. We take care about some American brands, American gun brands like Daniel Defense, Desert Tech and some other brands, which came from all over the world. Of course, some German weapons also. And I'm a consultant together with my other mates in the company for every tactical or military or law enforcement situation. For example, the local police or the German army or whatsoever is our partner. So and that's just a small input for you guys that we can know each other a little bit better. So this video is a little bit different as I said because I want to give you a review, a combination between the real steel version of a weapon and what Tarkov did in this format. So let's start with the Chris Vector. I want to start with the Chris Vector because it is a very very fancy gun. This weapon system is very nice, especially in Tarkov, but also in real life. Why is that so? Because with the Chris Vector you have a very modular system. It's a little bit sad that we don't have all opportunities. For example, changing the foregrip and some other stuff you can do with the Vector, but maybe Battle Saved Games is going to implement that into the game. But that's the idea of this video series. I want to talk to you about some guns in real life and how are they in Escape from Tarkov. So the Chris Vector, if you are familiar right now with the Escape from Tarkov, the Chris Vector is dominating. Why? Because it has such a low recoil. My video to the Chris Vector is a little bit outdated. During the early state of the wipe, you could get a 19 vertical recoil out of the Chris Vector, which is insane. Right now we have around 25 vertical recoil, a very high fire rate and 50 round magazine with and it shreds a lot. So and in my opinion Battlestate Games did a very great job because in real life due to this weapon system you have also a very low recoil. And of course if you are using an SMG you want to shoot fully automatic and this weapon system is perfect for doing that. Especially if you're shooting some 9mm rounds out of the Chris Vector. It's insane how well that works. Right now in Germany it's a little bit difficult to get some short barrel uh, firearms or some fully automatic firearms. And furthermore we tried in Germany to import the 22 long rifle version because it's also very funny to shoot some long rifle. But back again to Tarkov we can change the stock which is a great feature compared to the real life version you can have some modular stocks on it. Furthermore if I think about suppressors for a vector I instantly think about the Silencer Co Osprey suppressor which is nice. It's this futuristic look fits perfect to the vector and that's why I'm missing the FN FNX 45 a little bit because I don't know I really like the caliber I really like the modern looking weapon and it's a very great weapon so please Nikita send me that pistol to Tarkov it would be great. But as I said in the beginning we can't fit some let's say longer barrels to the vector or some bigger foregrips maybe it would be too overpowered so we can do that with the MPX for example and as you can see in Tarkov the MPX with the 
longer barrel version has a really low recoil also 24 or 25 it suffers from ergonomics of course but if we would do that with the vector let's say longer barrel longer rail it would be also be maybe a little bit overpowered because of its low recoil do i think the chris vector is overpowered in tarkov i wouldn't say so right now it's very expensive the thing is that the real steel chris vector is a very impressive gun if you shoot that fully automatic it's insane so it would be a shame if in tarkov the vector would be worse because it wouldn't be realistic so is tarkov realistic that's a topic for another video i would say it's highly intense i would say it's a hardcore shooter but the aspect of being realistic if you're interested in we make a video about that so if you are a very aggressive player in tarkov if you like pvping the vector is perfect because with the 50 round 9mm vector you can shred squats quite easily. You have a very low recoil and you can have a lot of fun. So my battle buddy Olo Brolo, he mastered the vector, he has the vector on mastering level 3 and we played a lot. We played on woods, we played on laps of course and even on woods the vector performs really well. Even with Green Tracer, nobody believes us that Green Tracer is nice, but try that out. Especially on woods, you can see your tracer rounds and Green Tracer works very well. Of course, on laps and some more close combat maps, we tried 7 and 31 and AP. Both ammunition is great. Of course, the 7 and 31 shreds a lot. I also like the fact in Escape from Tarkov that you can use the Glock magazines for your 9mm vector. That's perfect. I really enjoyed that fact because it is realistic and I like that. Because that was a great idea from Chris that you can put your Glock magazines into your vector because you have a lot Glocks and law enforcement and military. So you can still use your backup magazines for your primary. Another point is that the real steel fire rate of the Chris vector is still higher compared to the game. But I guess it's a matter of fact that we have some balancing over here, otherwise the vector would be too OP. Furthermore, some very interesting facts because I'm a big fan of the MP5, especially the SD version. One of the most enjoyable weapon to shoot and to handle and to work with because it's it feels great. It's so quiet and oh, I love this beauty of a German engineering firearm system. Oh, I'm struggling with my words, but guys, don't get me wrong, I still, I'm a big fan of the MP5. Okay. So, and if I'm right, we have about 60% less recoil with the Chris Vector. And believe me, guys, the MP5 SD is such a beauty when you are handling it and it almost has no recoil and the Vector has still less. So that's why I think the Chris Vector is a very interesting firearm system due to the fact of the low recoil and this modular system. It's a very great weapon from Chris. Guys, and right now I'm interested in your opinion. Do you like this video? Let me know because we have like a 3000 subscriber special and I have some more ideas about some combining the real world with Escape from Tarkov because I think this two genres fits great because Tarkov can be very hardcore and has some realistic facts and some realistic patterns and I want to point that out if you are interested and that's important to hear your feedback guys. So see you in the next video. Bye.